Hello everyone, welcome to the SQRT channel. In this video, we are going to take a problem from Berkeley Math Tournament from 2021. This problem came from the calculus test of this tournament. Here, we are going to find the integral of an inverse function. The function itself is defined as c of x. We have c of x equals to e to the power of x plus e to the power of negative 2x divided by 2. Let's take another look at the problem itself and then we are going to deep dive into the problem. Here is the original problem. We have c of x as defined and we have this function in the interval given by 1 and 2 including those numbers. Now defining c negative 1 of x as the inverse of c of x, we are going to compute the integral of c negative 1 of x dx between c of 1 and c of 2. Let's see how we are going to solve this problem now. Let me start with talking about the approach that I'm going to take. I'm going to use the area under care as a definition of integral. Here you have a function. Let's say that we have f of a and f of b as you see here for a and b. This function is increasing. So for that, I'm going to talk about what we have if we say b times f of b. First of all, you can see that b is what we have for the x-axis and then f of b is going to be what we have for the y-axis. Now, if I calculate b times f of b, it's going to be the area of the rectangle that I have here in green. On the other hand, a times f of a is going to be the area of the rectangle that I have in yellow. These two are easy. Now let's take a look at what I have in pink. I'm going to take the integral of f of x dx between a and b. Obviously it's going to be the area under the curve between those numbers and I have that in pink. On the other hand, if I calculate f negative 1 of x and then calculate the integral of f negative 1 of x dx between f of a and f of b is going to be the area that you have here in blue. It's a similar idea. It's the area under the curve between those regions. Now I'm going to take these and then use them to solve the problem. Now I have c of x as defined before. I need to find the integral of c negative 1 of x dx between c of 1 and c of 2. To do that, I'm going to use what we saw before. It is equal to 2 times c of 2 minus 1 times c of 1 minus the integral of c of x dx between 1 of 2. Now based on that, I'm just going to replace the values that I need to. Instead of using c of 2, I'm going to use e to the power of 2 plus e to the power of negative 4 over 2 and then I need to multiply that by 2 it's going to be just e to the power of 2 plus e to the power of negative 4. I'm going to use the same approach for 1 times c of 1. And finally, I'm going to replace the function that we have for c of x for the integral that I need to take. To continue, the integral that I have is a really simple integral. Remember, the integral of e to the power of x is going to be e to the power of x. And for the other one, which is e to the power of negative 2x, I'm going to use the normal integral and write it as negative 1 over 2 times e to the power of negative 2x. Replacing the values and everything that we need to do, you are going to see the expression that I have here. The next step is going to be just a simplification. I mark them in red, yellow, black, and green. If you just simplify, you're going to end up with the final answer, which is the one that I have here. And it's really easy to verify. Thanks for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it and you learned something. If you want to see more videos, more puzzles, more mass involved activities, please kindly subscribe to the channel. I hope to see you in the next video.